This year, Crash has been hosting a year-long seminar funded by the Mellon Foundation on risk and uncertainty. In particular, we've been looking at how people who build models for all the things we're uncertain about, whether it's finance or climate or volcanoes or epidemics, how those models interface with the people who've got to make policy decisions and the public, all of us, who are subject to those policy decisions. This is a really tricky area. We've been having reading groups, lectures, and also four workshops on different themes. The first workshop was on finance. We had a great keynote address from Joseph Schechtman and a whole day discussing how economic models may have contributed to the bursting of the financial bubble. The second workshop was about health and Professor Sir Michael Rawlins discussed some really difficult decisions about BSE and illegal drug classification and what happens when the scientific analysis comes up against the political and ethical issues that are involved in policy decisions. And then in the workshop, we looked at regulation of pharmaceuticals and also looked at the way that um, models had been used to inform the decisions made in the swine flu epidemic. Our third workshop concerned environmental and natural hazards. Frank Fisher, our keynote, looked at how lay knowledge might be combined with a formal analysis to improve policy decisions. And then in the workshop, we looked at examples such as climate change and groundwater poisoning in Bangladesh to show how our lack of knowledge of the environment, you know, we might even say our ignorance, it could easily lead to uh, public criticism of the policy decisions that get made. The fourth workshop looked at public participation in policy decisions. Martin Heyer considered the vital issue of public perception of climate change and we looked at nanotechnology and food security as case studies of where attempts have been made to introduce public participation into the policy decisions, and we considered how well they had worked. The climax of the year is our final conference, and we've got a great set of international speakers. For example, in risk perception, we have Gert Gigerenza from Germany and also Dan Kahn, who will be talking about the Cultural Cognition Project in the US. We'll be dealing with rationality in risk, ethics, governance, and in particular, envisioning futures in the face of really deep uncertainty. <laughs>